Today we're going to talk about walkthrough geography, or sometimes I call it room-sized maps, but we're going to make a giant map of Virginia using an entire room so that uh, when you walk across the room, you've walked across Virginia. And you could do, obviously do it with any state. This requires a lot of room, push things out of the way, clear some desks, or go to a library, or just any empty room. This works really great. Uh, the more room you have, the better. The more detail you can put into it. And uh, since you'll all be working, this will be a group project with everyone will be building onto the same, uh, same map. And you can decide the specifics of what you want to emphasize on this based on your uh, lesson plan, things you're studying, or it could just be a wide open, wide open exploration of, of what's in Virginia. Some examples of some of the things that you can build into this you may want to kind of brainstorm some of these things with their, your builders before they get started. But you uh, think about the natural elements that are all around us. Uh, what are the major rivers in the state? What are some of the bigger lakes uh, that are here? Maybe are there any major mountain ranges or minor mountain ranges? You can also look at the man-made elements like the major roads, the major cities, maybe major landmarks, major bridges or minor bridges, whatever you want to include. Also historical elements. Are there battlefields or settlements or historic places in your state that you might want to highlight? All of these you can find on digital maps. One thing to remember with this is that uh, nothing needs to be to scale in any way. If you decide that this is Richmond and the main thing to know about Richmond is that's where the state capitol is, uh, maybe somebody will want to build a capitol building that has a dome and is very elaborate and looks very much like a capitol building. Or maybe uh, they'll just want to build some little <laughs> little building that just represents, and this will be the capital, the Jamestown Fort could be, since Jamestown Fort was triangular uh, in shape, uh, it's very distinct that way. So this could be as simple as three planks arranged into a, uh, a triangle and say, there is Jamestown Fort. And you could talk about what happened there. Uh, or they may decide that they want to big, make a big elaborate fort and the fort is the really fun thing that they want to build today. One of the good things about this is it gets uh, your builders uh, more familiar with digital maps. Uh, there'd be a lot of range for how, uh, how familiar they already are with Google Maps and moving around that. And being able to use digital maps is a life skill that is, uh, that is a very important thing to, to learn. So having sort of a treasure hunt and and having reasons to look things up right now is a is a helpful thing. And then looking back and forth between uh, what what is on the uh, the digital map, and then when you're looking at that with what they've built in their physical world around them and, and making that connection. That's an interesting mental exercise as well. Another time you could do the same sort of prompt. You can just use a different state. Uh, let the builders choose a state. Let the builders choose whatever it is that they might want to uh, want to do. And instead of doing a state, maybe you want to do uh, the county where you're located. What are the major things in your county? Or if you're in a city, uh, you, could, you could build just your city in the entire room. So you walk across the city when you walk across the room or you you could zoom in from there and maybe you're going to make a map of of the school itself where are the hallways where are the classrooms where's the outdoor fields that sort of thing you can emphasize geography terms with uh, this sort of exercise you could provide a list of geography terms that maybe if uh, you're studying geography, you're giving them island, peninsula, causeway, bay, things like that that you might want to say, I want you to build this. They need to build that and be able to point that out and, and understand what makes a, a peninsula a peninsula. One of the nice things about this is that, that building life-size maps like the room-size maps like this um, makes the experience more immersive and memorable than if if they're looking at flat pieces of paper, if they're doing worksheets, even if they're if they're doing a lot of research online, it's all flat and and all just uh, their body's not moving at all. It's all just a two-dimensional experience. And once they start uh, connecting their body movement that they need as they're moving around and walking around the room and seeing different things and connecting the the uh, the visual that they're seeing with their eyes, the verbal that they're talking about as they're building, the mental as they're thinking through all these th different things, it all weaves it together. So they're more likely to remember if we're building uh, if we're building Virginia. Uh, when they're all done, they're going to have a mental picture of sort of where was Richmond in relation to the Shenandoah National Park in the Blue Ridge Mountains. 
And that's part of what we always do with Kiva Planks by uh, making uh, whatever you're teaching into a, uh, a whole body experience that involves fine motor skills, gross motor skills, moving the body around, and that all helps the, the brain to have hooks to put these things on. Another thing that's fun with, with this project is uh, that it really is fun just to feel like you're walking across the state so easily and it feels like you're getting a bird's eye view as you walk around. As I always suggest, once your students have invested a lot of time and energy into building this, um, it's really good to take pictures or videos so that they can remember it and you can remember it. You build it, you walk around it, you talk about it, and that helps them to remember it. So that's the key to this. Uh, there's so many different things you could do with geography, uh, with studying different countries and, and just the different components of the societies within the countries and everything. Uh, there's just an unlimited number of directions and prompts you could do with this. So hope you have a lot of fun with this and that your students do too, and I'm certain they will. And I hope that's helpful and I'll see you next time.